Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. It's Memorial Weekend. We're at Great Adventure. And guess who's here? JB is here visiting from California. And yeah, we're going to explore. I've seen that on my social media. There's been a lot of progress made here, especially on Flash. There's new entertainment here. And also, all the Looney Tunes are dressed for the 50th. So I invite you to come along as we explore Memorial Weekend here at Great Adventure. So you got a really cool hat and a vest, and these are all like old school. Wow, look at this, getting a turn from Bugs. Amazing, and Daffy, you got this nice little vest on, but no hats or anything, huh? No, but you look great. You both look amazing. Yes, and then this is Jamie here. She's visiting from California. Excited to be here and celebrate the 50th with you guys. This is actually where they'll be later. So they start their days off in front of the fountain, but then when it gets hot, they move in here. Oh, nice. Yeah. And then to your right over here is going to be Flash, the building site. They have done so much work on this in a week, it's insane. So really, they're just about done here. It's been a week since I've been here, and they are just they just need the spike, huh? And then I guess a lot of the paving and stuff needs to be done still. But I'm impressed at how quickly they've been able to move on this. Let's go take a look here. To my surprise, there are buckets on the, or gondolas, whatever you call these on the Ferris wheel. They started adding them. So this is nice. They actually brought back these old school ones instead of, I think, the multicolored ones that they had in years prior. They look great. I think it re really resembles how it looked originally. And then the only other thing missing as they get a move on this is some lights. So cool, out in front of the mirror maze, they have a brass band playing called the Flashbang Brass and the Tone Travelers, which I do like that logo. I don't understand Tone Travelers too much, but it looks like some sort of, this is very Dapper Dan's-esque, huh? All right, that's the first one that's coming up at one. I am probably eventually going to have to shoot this show for the production company that put this together. So I'm gonna watch and maybe grab a minute or two for you guys and share it here. Your eyes cause the greatest day of your life is here life is here great adventure great adventure great adventure whoa you are about to begin the greatest day in your life that's great adventure. You are about to explore the greatest place in your life. That's great adventure. Ride the giant Ferris wheel Ooh, up around the uh, I'll see the other rides down below. A place to bring the family, a place where you can really let go. So that entertainment was amazing. The brass band, that was some talent, some crazy talent. And as well, I almost forgot to mention the, the barbershop quartet. Really glad that there's entertainment here at the park again. Kinda cost supposedly five minutes as well as a dark night? I don't know. I do believe Superman is at a hundred minute wait though, that's for sure. Don't know about Justice League. Jersey Devil Coaster still probably operating one train. 80 minute wait, believable. Skull Mountain, 10 minutes make me want to go over there. 
Runaway Mine Train, is that actually open? I don't know, but El Toro 25 minute wait, I do believe. Is Roaring Rapids actually open? We're gonna go investigate. And if Nitro is a 10 minute wait, we should definitely get on that. So this is new to me where they're selling one-time flash passes to certain rides. Wow. It's endless fun if you got the money for it. <laughs> but yeah, there's no way this is 15 minutes. The line is super backed up all the way here. I believe they're using all the switchbacks. And here, 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 here is the end of the line. Holy shit. Okay, so that, no. That goes all the way up and then goes to the station. And, okay. Yeah. We're making a little stop here at the Jersey Devil Barbecue since pretty much all the other food locations are absolutely slammed. And while waiting to order, we've just been observing, you know, dispatch of Nitro here. And honestly, I wish they had three trains. They are waiting for that one to come back while another one is on the lift hill. They honestly could have had another one ready to go, but I have no idea. Let me know your thoughts. Took a little while there. I think that was like 15 minutes or so. And uh, we got ourselves a pulled pork sandwich and an icy and these are not the fries that are as good as the one at Granny's, so we're gonna have to definitely hit up Granny's. I apologize, Jamie is a fry girly, so we're gonna have to get her some fries from Granny's, because those are the best I've had at the park. So sadly, still one train ops here, no news on that other than there was a recall, I believe on the wheel assemblies or something like that from RMC. They do have a DJ here for Memorial Weekend, which I think helps because the queue, the first queue house is completely full over here. Oh, wow, yeah. This is, this is like an 80, 90 minute wait. That's brutal. One train ops, this is not meant for it. Despite what Magic Mountain might have you believe, because over there, uh, their Wonder Woman was on one train ops when I visited in February. And here, Roaring Rapids is now open with its new signage and renaming and everything. It used to actually be called Congo Rapids, and that's what I knew it as for the longest time. It's actually been here for, I don't know, 20 plus years. Based on the dispatch times that I've been seeing, like how frequently I'm seeing a train, I believe Batman the Ride is finally on two trains, which thank goodness, because beforehand, even last week, the queue was spilling out <laughs> that side of the queue, and that usually can handle about an hour and a half or so. I don't know if you can spot it, but somebody is wearing the special suit, whatever you call that thing, the flying one, the prone one. Yeah, somebody's in that special seat there. <laughs> That's pretty great. Uh, but the crowds here, uh, it is pretty crowded, I would say. The lines definitely show that, but it's not like bursting at the seams like I've seen it before where they were a little ill-equipped for it. I feel like they're starting to be able to handle it. It's a little more manageable, thank goodness. So we got to see Daffy and Bugs earlier in their new costumes. Let's see what Sylvester and Wiley are wearing. Sylvester, Wiley, everybody wants to see what are you rocking for the 50th. So first, Sylvester in his little jacket. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> it looks amazing. So no, I saw that Bugs. Is he the only one with the hat? He's the only one with the hat. No, no hat. No hat, Wiley. No, no Acme hat, nothing. But let's, let's get a close-up of your, your vest. It looks amazing. You look amazing. You're both amazing. And it's so good to see you. I'm glad the 50th is starting off well and you're looking good. Welcome to Dream Street, Jamie. This, if you look at where that Golden Kingdom sign is, that was the original entrance of the park. Wow. So when you, you first came in here, you had the four tents there, and then you'd come in, you would see this, and then the uh, Ferris wheel behind it. Sense. Right? Yeah, because this was totally ripping off of the, uh, the way that Walt Disney was designing stuff, because this opened in 74. Walt Disney World opened in 71 and lessons were learned and everybody tried copying it and then quickly went bankrupt and this one got bought by Six Flags like three or four years later. <laughs> and here we are. And on this edition of Brick Watch 2024 we have We Got a Rollback, presumably talking about King Dakka from Ava, Carson, and Joe. Shout out to them. It's turning into quite a beautiful day here. A tiny bit humid because we have some thunderstorms looming for tomorrow, but today I think I see some jugglers. Don't see Porky. There has been a stilt walker around, but that's great. We have somebody juggling the uh, pins and someone juggling those balls over there. Clown. It, actually, I just realized it just dawned on me. They have uh, the same looks as people I've seen in the uh, in the 50th, the 50th magazine that I saw. So opening day. Oh, here he comes. Amazing. <laughs> Hello. 
And we've made it. Jamie, the last time you were on this, it was cold, it was November, it was sad. It was kind of, it was running a little slow, but it was still fun. I'm really excited for you to be able to go on this now to compare what this is running like. Because okay. uh, are they called Hector and Jorge, little Hector and little Jorge? They're both on, so the ops have been kicking butt with two trains now. If you guys know El Toro, you know it runs great on these hot days, and man, it is running great. We did a second to last row just to get off the wheels, and that was, it's surprisingly smooth now for a wooden roller coaster, but you liked it, right? I had a lot of fun. Um, this is my first time riding it in the heat when it's warm and it's like really running. It was, it was great. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Reminder that it was November the last time she was here riding this. And also, shout out to the ops. They are kicking real butt. Like, they are running, sweating in that station to make sure things get out and there's never a wait on the brake run. So I saw it go by while I was filming the last clip, but uh, can confirm the mine train is going. Also, I don't know if you can see it, but those are swirls of pollen just sitting on top of the water. It is crazy today. If you, you know, you got to take an antihistamine to survive out here because it is nuts. And there it goes. We just came here in the shade because it is starting to get super hot. Over there's Medusa. They're going at a good rate there. Pretty decent line though too. So we're going to just chill. Because El Toro happened to be like no wait and the ops were going crazy so we were able to do that twice thankfully i think for now we're going to check out what's going on in this area over here what does seem to be running at a great clip right now i've been seeing dispatch after dispatch is the runaway mine train which they put in the old logo up there love to see that and they have a little photo op down here uh, i love to see that but wow yay there is no more fence here this is the first time i have not seen it without a fence since opening day in March. Now sadly, neither the Safari Off-Road Adventure or the Sawmill Log Flume will be opening this weekend. This has been closed for a while now, and it says it's opening June 29th? So not until the end of June. Wow, that's the whole month. But you can, if you want to do the Safari, you can go into the separate entrance, which is over by where you would start entering the parking lot uh, if you were coming just to the theme park. And here it just says summer 2024. And right now it is still dry. We'll go check and see if the troughs are still bare right now. And right now we're coming up on another bit of entertainment of the three that were hired on for the summer for the 50th celebrations. All right, so I pretty much love the vibes here that they're doing. We got El Toro over here. We got no sky ride yet, hopefully soon, someday, fingers crossed. But when this thing opens up and we got sawmill log flume going and all of this, this area is gonna be, it's gonna have a way different energy. And also I've heard that maybe perhaps um, Yosemite Sam might be making appearances. I don't know though, that's just rumors. And there it is, sadly. They just need to add that trough there, put in some water, and start it up. But uh, here we are. I don't know how long that'll take, but honestly, I've always been surprised how quickly they can move on these projects. So I was hoping for Memorial, but we're going to have to wait a little bit longer. We just stopped here to use the bathroom real quick, and when we came out, she was on a unicycle. This was the other performer that was here, other than the juggler that we saw earlier. That's amazing. Look at her go. And there's Porky. He has a really nice jacket on and a bow tie that kind of matches the vest that Sylvester was wearing. Love to see it. Also keeping an eye out for the unicycle again. It's packed, it's loud, and the line is long. We're here at Granny's. I just picked up a Buffalo Crispy Chicken Sandwich and it only took one person to have an issue with the dining plan for the line to get super backed up behind me. Meanwhile, the fries, they're not cooked as long as they should have been. and. I feel bad I'm not being supportive of the fry girly 
These are not the crispy fries that I promised, but the buffalo chicken sandwich is decent. Just got done with Jamie's first ride on Nitro, and let me tell you, it was hauling. It was a bit of a rattle because it was going so fast at the bottom of the hills, but Jamie, wh what did you think? I liked it a lot. I realized that I do like this model of roller coaster. I like the smoothness and like the little uh, cute, happy airtime. <laughs> So I really liked it. Um, there was a point where the Helix felt a little fast for me. I don't love positive Gs, so that wasn't my favorite thing. But the rest was great. Like, I loved it. Jamie, if you listen closely, you can hear the Mortal Kombat music. They weren't playing this at the station at the time. So I'm sorry you did not have the authentic, the truly authentic Nitro experience. And while we're here over by Nitro, an evac alert right now. I wonder if somebody had their phone out or something, because this... Sadly happens pretty often. I've almost gotten my face smashed with a few phones before, mainly on El Toro because people are dumb and film illegal POVs. And next up here, we just got off of party mode Skull Mountain, which they were playing, uh, what song was that? Do you remember? The Rude Sandstorm. The Sandstorm, and, but it was like the buildup and we were riding, the entire ride existed on the buildup, which kind of stung. I don't know, but what did you think of it otherwise? You've never been on this, right? I thought it was a fun idea. Um, I was hearing that there's really no advertising that that's going on, the party mode, and I think if that's more heavily advertised, it would bring more people to it, because uh, had you told me that when I was walking in, I would have been very excited to ride it, because I love, like, 2000s music, and uh, I guess the vintage at this point, but um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was not intense or anything special, but I think the lights and the music made it, like, uh, a party, yeah. I don't know if you can see it far away, I didn't have time to set it up, but they had to eat looks like e-stop this the uh the swings the sky flyer that's kind of crazy but i think we're gonna do a little walk over to where flash is over by cyborg and justice league and then i think we're gonna call it a day all right so we came back over this way to check out flash honestly other than the the most vertical parts of vertical velocity that's really it it was cool to see at a bunch of places just like they're gonna have here the double-sided lockers to kind of help with throughput however we know that this is a low cap ride, so we're gonna see how that plays out. It's probably gonna be one of those things where I ride it early on and then probably never again until maybe if this is open during the winter. But talking about the other roller coasters that we were able to experience, especially for Jamie, the first time, Nitro, Skull Mountain, <laughs> party mode. But then we got to go on El Toro in like, while it's running for real, and that was, that was awesome to be able to share with you. Yeah. So yeah, thank you so much guys for, for joining us today here. Um, pretty cool to see what's happening with, you know, the summer, the full-fledged, like, 50th and all of that. you have anything else, any thoughts you want to share? Um, I'm a pass holder now, so I'll definitely be back Oh, soon. snap! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so definitely any other adventures that we're planning on doing will be made a little bit easier for that, especially if we take a trip up to New England or America when she's back over here on the coast. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, and I hope you go make your own adventure. Bye!